To simplify this expression, what you need to do is combine like terms. Terms are anything that are separated by the plus and minus, like 7x, 2x, the x, and the 3x. Each one of those are terms because they are separated by plus and minuses. Okay? Now, when terms, uh, the terms can be alike. And how do you know when they're alike? When the terms contain the same variable or they lack the variable. So in this case, each of these terms are alike because they have the variable x. And when you have like terms, the only thing you need to do is work with the numbers in front of the variable, which are called coefficients. Okay, so you're just going to add and subtract the numbers in front of each uh, variable. When you see a letter by itself, you need to understand that's the same thing as 1x. Okay, so now let's combine. So I'm going to combine, which means that I'm going to add all the variable, all the numbers in front of each letter. Okay, so I'm going to add the 7, the 2, I'm going to subtract the 1, and I'm going to add 3. And that's what I'm going to write in this parenthesis. 7, I'm going to add the 2, I'm going to subtract the 1, I'm going to add 3. And then whatever answer I get, my answer is going to have the letter X because all of them have the variable X. And now let's work it out. 7 plus 2 is 9, 9 minus 1 is 8, and 8 plus 3 is 11. So I'm going to have 11X. Okay, and that's how you simplify this expression. Now, uh, the next problem is an equation. And how do you solve this equation? So what you're going to do is first simplify or combine like terms on the left side of the equation. On the left side, 6x and 3x are alike because they have the same variable x. So what I'm going to do now is just work with the numbers in front. So 6, take away 3. That's going to leave me with 3x. What I do with a plus 12, I'm just going to write it right after the 3x because that's not alike with a 3x. Okay, equal. On the right side of the equation, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to combine like terms. And the terms that are alike on the right side are minus 10 and minus 2. Why they are alike? Because they don't. these terms don't contain a variable x. So that's why they are alike. So what is minus 10? minus 12. That's going to be minus, uh, minus 12. Okay, um, And then I'm going to subtract the x because that term is not alike. The next thing is I want to have, if you notice carefully, you have variables on the left side of the equation and on the right side of the equation. And the goal is to have letters on the left side and numbers on the right side. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this minus x. And how do I get rid of this minus x? I'm going to undo subtracting x. And how I undo subtracting x? I add x. And whatever you do on one side of the equation, you need to do it in the opposite side of the equation. Okay? And now we're going to combine like terms again. So 3x, combine it with this x, that is the same thing as 1x. <coughs> and when you combine them, you're going to have 4x. And then I have plus 12 because 12 is not alike with 4x. On the right side, the minus x and the plus x cancels out. So that will leave me only with minus 12. The next thing I want to do is I want to leave the 4x by itself on the left side of the equal sign. So I want to get rid of plus 12. How do I get rid of plus 12? I subtract 12 on both sides of the equation. Now again, I'm going to combine like terms. So I'm going to have 4x. And then 12 minus 12, that cancels out, which is 0. And on the right side, I'm going to have minus 12 minus 12, that's minus 24. The next step is to leave the variable x by itself. So I need to get rid of this 4. And how do I get rid of this 4? Well, I'm going to undo multiplying by 4, which is dividing by 4. Whatever you do on one side of the equation, you need, to on, uh, you need to do it on the other side of the equation. And when you divide, here the force, these force cancels out, so that will leave you with x. And then when you divide negative 24 by 4, you're going to get negative 6. And this is how you solve this equation.